we are in the car on our way to Devon. Well, we're in Devon now, actually. It is one o'clock. We left at eight o'clock, I think. Yeah. Um, and we were, up. we were meant to be here about 20 minutes ago, but Ollie missed the junction and it added an extra half an hour because he didn't only miss the one junction, he then went on to miss another junction. But, Don't tell him. <laughs> but it's fine. Um, but yeah, we've had like... We were carried away listening to Crazy Frog. Yeah, we were listening to Crazy Frog. We've been listening to really good music. Um, well, Ollie might not agree with really good music. Oh, hi guys. You're going to be here in the wind. Um, but yeah, I've been listening to like... You know songs that just remind you of like certain years. So there was like JLS from I remember when I was at T4 on a beach, and then just all different like songs from when I was younger. And then we we're taking it in turns to listen to different songs. Anyway, um, we've had a really good journey. We've only got 10 minutes left now before we get to the campsite. That's as long as we don't take any wrong turns. Oh, bumpy bump. Um, the weather isn't great. It's a big grey cloud. I don't know if you can it's not like you know that great but we've got 25 in Orpington we've got to put up a 17 yeah, down here 25 in Orpington where we left and now it's well it says 18 in your car but Next week, yeah it's meant to be Next like week. rainy and horrible um but yeah we're going camping we're doing two nights at one campsite and two nights at another campsite um we're going with our friends Alex and Jen they probably won't be in the videos I probably won't film them just because I don't really even talk to them about having YouTube um, and it's a bit weird <laughs> um, so I'll probably just film little bits when I can I don't know how much I will feel comfortable to film or what but I will try I'm gonna film us setting up the tent which Ollie's gonna love um, so you'll see a little time lapse of that when we get there as long as it doesn't rain because I don't want you to get wet but yeah so we are going for a little break away I was feeling a little bit nervous about it yesterday just because Obviously we've been locked at home for so long and I don't know, just it's weird now being out isn't it but you've got to, you've got to move on and got to do these little things and it's only four nights and it's camping so it's not you know mega stress or anything. Um, the drive's been fine, there was like one little bit of traffic but yeah I'm really excited to get there now so I better put you down because we're getting to the like nitty gritty and I'm probably going to have to help Ollie before he takes a wrong turn and blames me for doing this and blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I will pick you back up when I'm at the campsite. stopped filming but I'm not sure if it was up when it stopped filming or if we what what it missed but we've done it we just need to do the mattress now and yeah make it all cozy in there we've done it a little bit close <laughs> to the edge of the pitch because you know like we need to get out and in and we also need to get the mattress in and stuff but Ollie preferred to have plenty of room for ball games apparently so just what we need that was easy wasn't it Huh? No, she didn't. <laughs> You're right there, buddy. <laughs> don't blow away. Problem with going so close to the edge. Don't get it in the bush. I sleep on that. <laughs> He's a happy chappy. 
<laughs> a little bum. We just spent the last like hour or two hours, I'm not sure, um, chilling outside Alex and Jen's tent, um, just having a chat and stuff, and now we're about to drive to, I don't know if we're going to Ilfracombe or Woolacombe or, I'm not sure where, <laughs> um, but we're going to go and have some fish and chips, I think, at the beach and just have a little mooch around, and then I think we might go to the supermarket to get some food for breakfast tomorrow, because I know those guys said they wanted to fry up, but I don't know how they're gonna keep it cool unless they've got like a little fridge because they've got an electric thing so maybe they have um, i've booked tickets for longley so we got in there on monday um i know <laughs> there's a bit of water down there i spilled some water but yeah it's a really nice campsite we're in like a nice little secluded pitch they're less secluded but they've got an electric hookup and they can see the sea like quite nicely from where they are they're literally around the corner but um yeah the toilet facilities are really nice i will put on the screen where we are staying in case any of you want to have a little camping trip um but yeah really impressed with it so far I'm always brushing down the seats <laughs> oh, it's really loud yeah um yeah i just thought i'd quickly catch you up on what's going on where we're going and i'll try and show you my fish and chips but like i said i feel a bit awkward getting the camera I appreciate it. it looks like I'm here by myself, but I'm not. <laughs> um, I'm just not filming Alex and Jen just because I just, I don't know, feel a bit weird. But I'm wearing my new tie-dye hoodie that I made. It's like, I like it. The white bit's gone like baby blue. Like I wanted it to be like white and blue, but it's kind of all blue, but it's fine. Um, all these just gone over to their pitch to help them bring some stuff over and yeah we've just basically you would have seen a little clip of us having dinner we had fish and chips um sat on like a bench overlooking the sea which was really really nice um we had it i think it was the village was called morto or morty ho sorry if i'm saying it wrong i'm sure i am um yeah so that was really cute and then we went to the tesco which was actually a tesco that i had been to before when I'd been to Devon before and I didn't really know until we were there and I was like oh that's cool anyway boring story for you just mildly interesting for me um but yeah we got some like frozen sausages and things for us to have for breakfast tomorrow because obviously hopefully they'll do frost overnight and be able to have them for breakfast tomorrow um got some like more snacks and things got some drinks those guys got like cider and beer I got alcohol free cider which is my first time trying it but um yeah i got the copperberg like uh is it strawberry and lime and pear so i'll see what they're like um i don't want to feel left out you know <laughs> but yeah um we're just back at the pitch i think we're gonna play some games and stuff and just chat um it's got a little bit chilly so i've just yeah put on my hoodie but um i'm really happy it's really nice to just be outdoors and to just be somewhere different and be away from normal things you know so yeah, people just went past and they were both looking at me and I just look like, a, like I'm literally sat on this pitch by myself filming myself like a complete weirdo. Ollie's not being in the vlog but he's there. Mm. <laughs> um, we've just come to bed, we had a really nice evening. Um, just chatting and drinking tea and I drank some alcohol free cider which I don't know, it was just really really sweet. Like really sweet um but yeah we've just come to bed it's quite early it's not the time it's so grainy and like i don't know if my camera's steamed up um 20 to 12 actually so not as early as i thought um i don't know what time we get up in the morning i think we're just gonna see what time we get up and yeah the weather's a bit rubbish we're a bit we looked at it at home and tomorrow at home it's 27 degrees and here it is 16 are you kidding what and we wanted to be at the beach tomorrow and like I wanted to go in the sea and stuff so that probably won't happen but um yeah I just wanted to end today's part of the vlog and I will pick you back up in the morning night Bye. Bye. <laughs> morning um I'm gonna be super quick all oh, the exposure is horrendous um just because I think breakfast is ready but um yeah I've got up this morning had a shower um 
put on some makeup and stuff and I am dressed but I've just got jump on because it's chilly and yeah um, I think they're cooking breakfast over at their pitch so I'm gonna go over and have some breakfast <laughs> mm. okay so we've just come to Ilfracum I don't know if you can hear me they're talking about politics so I thought I would just film because I don't talk about politics it's not my thing you know um, yeah we've just parked up and we're gonna walk to see the Verity statue, I think she's called. We saw her last time over here. Um, it's like a sculpture by Damien Hurst, I think. It's a pregnant lady, actually. Um, but I think it's a bit weird. I think like half her stomach's cut open or something. A little bit gruesome. But um, yeah, excited to see the sea, like be on the beach. Um, and then I'm not sure where else we're heading. I think maybe just go to a few different towns and just see what's about. It's like. A really grey day so yeah I think the guys have bought their swimwear but I <laughs> haven't as much as I love swimming in the sea like it's like 16 degrees so I don't think I'll be doing that just yet. <laughs> hmm. Ollie's getting nervous getting jelly legs when he looks down. Yeah, it's the old couple up there. Oh, they're coming down already. Yeah, just there. Yeah, tiny one. Of, um, yeah, mini one of her. Verity, I think. I don't know. We're at the sea. It looks such a nice colour. I don't know if you, you probably can't see on the camera at all, but it looks quite clear, like turquoise. Are you having a good time, my babe? <laughs> we weren't sure about the outfit. Like, we were both... <laughs> I don't know, when Alex and Jen said about it. I was like, yeah, I love camping. And he was like, no, you don't. And I was like, no, it's you that doesn't. And we both thought we were both going to be the first to be like, oh, this is a bit horrible, isn't it? But so far, you probably can't even hear me because it's windy, but so far, we've survived. Man, babe, crossing the road. It is, it wasn't like this when we came before. There's ice cream in there, there's no queue in there. Roly fudge. Fudgy fudge fudge. Fudge. There's a new day that will come again tomorrow. Wash away the pain There's a new day To take away your sorrow So I've just had a shower, washed my hair um, So it's wet right now so I'm a bit chilly willy um, But we're about to have pasta So we've got our little stove set up We thought we had a table but we didn't bring one So I don't know if we do or not But yeah, <laughs> we're going to make pasta Using homegrown courgette, or lovingly prepared by hubby. Um, but yeah, I just was all sandy and salty from the beach, so I wanted to have a shower, wash my hair, and feel fresh for the evening. Although I am quite cold now because of my wet hair. I don't know if I just said that. Ollie distracted me. Um, but yeah, pasta time. Maybe read some of our book. Maybe see what the guys are doing and play a game. I'm not really sure, but um, yeah, I'm super sleepy, so an early night tonight I think but um, we're having a really really nice time um yeah I'm, I'm just, I said to Ollie a minute ago I'm just I just feel so happy like it's just so lovely to be somewhere else and I think like lockdown kind of taught us a bit like how to cope with basics you know so this isn't as tricky as it sometimes might have been like I know loads of people do camping and love it but for us it's always been I don't know like I don't know if we bigged it up to be like something we really thought wasn't going to be that good or I don't know but anyway I'm really enjoying it and I'm gonna make dinner with Ollie now. My first cooking faux pas is that I don't think Ollie's packed a wooden spoon or anything so I'm having to use a plastic spoon which I know is really bad because it's gonna melt so I've just got to be really careful at like stirring the courgettes <laughs> and trying to not touch the pan. Damn it! <laughs> I'm gonna add um, 
passata now because I don't know how I'm going to add passata. I haven't got any scissors. <laughs> because this is getting a bit dry already. Let me turn it down. So proud. I remembered I do have scissors so I can open this. Pour these in. Not going to be too much. <laughs> the main reason we're having this dinner is because Ollie wanted to use one of our homegrown courgettes <laughs> it was like ready to cut so yeah he brought it with us and decided we needed to have a pasta because of that so that is why we're having pasta tonight <laughs> ollie was really cute he like pre-mixed all of the herbs if you can see um that we'd need in like an old pot and like put the oxo cube in there as well so <laughs> it's all ready to go <laughs> Turn it into a chef. So my pasta sauce is just boiling. Ollie's just gone to borrow Alex and Jen's um, kettle. We do have like a whistling kettle for the stove, but then we'd have to boil the kettle, then do the pasta and sauce and that. And they've got an electric, so it's easy to just use their kettle whilst they've got it. Um, so yeah, we're just simmering the sauce and got the pasta ready to go in here. Um, I've got an alcohol free copper bag. I tried the strawberry and lime one yesterday and it tasted very similar to the alcohol one but it was a lot sweeter I thought like it was almost like oh, too sweet I don't know and I really like sweet things. They're just so sweet. I don't think I've ever had pear copper bag but I think I have actually like pear and apple cider is quite strong isn't it i prefer like summer berries type one normally i look horrendous i'm so sorry um but it's all right it's, it's nice and i feel like aunt cider is normally a bit fizzy like this isn't really fizzy are they are they fizzy i feel like they normally are i don't know i've got this ollie's got a couple of beers and i can't wait for this pasta i am starving what we're eating out of i feel like i'm in the jungle ollie got them in was it in the poundland or was it in um a camping shop. Camping shop. Camping shop, but they were having a sale because they're shutting down. Look. <laughs> Good morning. Happy Saturday. So this morning it is 11 a.m. Dead on. And we're just checking out. Ollie's just run into the reception. and um, So we've just put the towel, the towel, the tent away but we haven't like packed it away properly because we're going to another campsite so like obviously when we check out um, we will go and do a proper proper put away of it all but um yeah so i think now we can't check into our next one for a few hours i don't think um so we're gonna head to because we came here before and we went to we stayed at croyd beach so we want to go and check that out and just have a look for the memories you know and then also the beach that you can walk to from here which we didn't get to do or i think the guys went to do it last night whilst i was reading um but it was getting dark and they came back because it's quite far. So yeah, we're gonna go and do a little drive by and see what that place is like. The weather's super overcast here as it has been at this particular campsite the whole time, but it seems that when we drive 10 minutes down the road, it's really nice. So yeah, we're just gonna have a little drive around. We've not had breakfast yet. So we're gonna find somewhere that does pasties or something, or he's doing dancing in front of the car um, and have some breakfast. But. Yeah, we had a really nice stay. So I'll put, I think I've said I'll put it on the screen, but I'll put it on the screen again and I'll put it in the description box where we've stayed for this trip. It's called Warcombe Farm and it's really nice. Like the, the facilities, the toilets and the showers are so nice. There's like under, underfloor heating. Um, they play music in the toilet, which you know. Only in the girls' toilet. Only in the girls' toilet, apparently. Um, but yeah, there's so many showers and. Yeah, you have to wear like masks in the shared areas and things, but yeah, really, really happy with it. So apparently the next place Alex and Jen have been to, and they said that it's not as like fancy as this. It's just literally a field with like a toilet block, whatever. But anyway, you're resting on the car and you're going to fall down. So I've got to go, bye. Oh yeah. Just driven to Lee Beach. Oh, can we just take a moment for the t-shirt? Although it's a bit short, isn't it? Yeah, when you wash it again, it's going to be too short. Stretch it out. I um, tie-dyed him a t-shirt. I think it looks really cool. You like it? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so we've come here. 
And this, I was saying to Ollie, it reminds me of somewhere that I've read about in a book. Uh, she looks amazing. Come in and come in. <laughs> Cute pie. <laughs> oh, there's water running through. Oh, look, we've got a little one. They catch, they've got crab. Look, yeah, that was really deep. Um, you might be under there. I don't think they're really big though. They just, they just move the plants out of the way first. So they could be okay. here if it was really unfortunate. It was in a shallow one. It was. You're not going to be able to see this before, are you? Huh? He's dead as well, is he? Nah, he's upright. He probably is alive. Go on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pick him out then. Pick him up by his bum. One that's get my hand if you pick him up by his bum. I can't. I'm nah. scared of that. <laughs> Go ahead, move on then. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if I really want to pick him up either. No. Oh. Give him a go. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I'll get her just drop. Oh. It's sad, isn't it? Why are they all dead? He's oh, in there, isn't he? Why is he blurry? Oh, is it? Yeah. It's in good condition, isn't he? Now it's focusing on him. Good condition. <laughs> Found a dead crab. <laughs> it's not the alive ones we were looking for, but <laughs> we'll keep going. <laughs> Lolly. Oh, he would like to get you with his leg there yeah. he, if you're holding it. Oh my god, you're so brave. He's alive! Where's <laughs> oh, he gone? Oh, gross. Why does he want to get wet feet all the time? <laughs> Ollie reckons he can go over the seaweed, but it's too wet. So we've just in the car, Ollie's just feeling like with Petra if you can see him there, his tie dye top. Um, but yeah, we went to Lee Beach, which was really nice actually. It was really atmospheric and just, yeah, just so cool. Um, so yeah, filmed some stuff there, which you would have seen. And then we went on to Croyd Bay, which we stayed at before, I think I spoke about earlier. Um, but yeah, we put, parked in a space that you could only be in for one hour. And then we looked at the next campsite and we realised it's like an hour and a half away. So we thought we'd get a move on and we haven't eaten yet today and we're starving. So we've just started kind of heading towards that next campsite. We're going to try and find somewhere for some food. Um, but yeah, we decided to just fill up with a bit more petrol. We've only used about half a tank so far, but we thought whilst we're here and the petrol price was okay, we would just get some petrol. But yeah, having a really nice time. The weather's still pretty grey and overcast, but um, yeah. I don't really mind. I feel like if it was super hot, I'd be so uncomfortable and whingy anyway. So, like, I can't have everything, you know. We got the beach day yesterday that I wanted, so, yeah. It's all good. I'm really enjoying it. So, we've got today, tomorrow, and then we come home Monday. But Monday's when we've got long leap. And we're still not decided yet whether we should stay somewhere Monday night and, like, make a bit more of a thing of it or if we should come home after long leap. Yeah, I have found, like, there's, like, a travel lodge that says it's, like, a 10-minute... No, I think it's a five minute drive from Longleat um, and it was like 44 pounds for the night so I'm like let's just do that like it would be really nice to have I know Travel Lodge obviously isn't like a nice hotel really but we've stayed in them before and they've always been absolutely fine and it just means then we can like I don't know maybe get a bit like dressed properly not in camping clothes I just feel like it'd be a nice end to the holiday and then maybe Tuesday we could go into Bath or I don't know just make more of the, the time before Ollie's got to get back to work on Wednesday. So yeah, so I've been chatting for bloody ages. Editing me is going to hate this. <laughs> so yeah, I will pick you back up when we get to our next place. We just got to the next campsite. Um, we set up the tent and I didn't film it because we filmed it last time. It's just setting up a tent is what it is. But let me show you my view right now. You can't even see, but like literally I'm sat here with my unpainted toes, sorry. But look, like in the camera it makes it look a lot kind of further away and more distant. Yeah, it's so lovely. So 
nice it's just basically a massive field like the other one was more of like a proper campsite whereas this is just like a field with a really nice view so yeah um alex and joan have just got here and they're setting up their tent and they said that we can go to a beach tonight that they know morning happy sunday so we are just driving down to the beach right now um we had a bit of a wet night um it was raining so heavy and our tent was letting in loads of water not in the sleeping bit so much but like in the porch bit um it was like leaking through where the seams are and then also i think we realized this morning that the field that we're on is a little bit hilly so it was kind of rolling off the bottom ground sheet under the tent like i don't know anyway really a bit annoying <laughs> um but we slept fine in the end anyway and it's just all part of it isn't it um but yeah we've had a bit of a slow morning this morning just had breakfast and i don't know if you're gonna be able to hear me because of the wind um but yeah we're just driving to the beach and it's meant to be 18 degrees so hopefully it's not too cold but i think back home it's again super duper hot so. oh well at least we've got a pretty beach <laughs> um but yeah last night we just ended up um having dinner and playing some games Sorry. no one's coming um playing some games in jen and alex's tent because like i said it was raining so yeah we were just they've got like a massive tent and their porch bit is yeah really big so we we're able to sit in there and play games for a while and then i just went to bed and read my book um but yeah i i don't know i feel a bit in the mood but i don't know if i'm just didn't sleep very well or what i'm not sure but i'm sure i'll cheer up when i'm at the beach um which i think is literally just a couple of minutes drive away God, look at those people walking up there. Yeah. I will show you the beach when we get there. <laughs> Here he is. Let's see how he shows. Hello, it is now Monday. I didn't really film much yesterday. I was in a bit of a bad mood, not for like any reason. I was, you know, it was still amazing where we were staying. And what did we do yesterday? We spent the morning at our local beach, which was Wide Mouth Beach. Um, but it was just really windy. And so the sand was like blowing in your face. Um, the guys, Alex and Jen, hired a like surfboard for the day. Um, so Ollie had a little go on that, but um, he's just telling me that he hurt his willy. <laughs> the waves kept hurting it, so anyway. Because of the board. Oh, the board. He kept donking it on the board. Um, but I didn't, I wasn't sure that it would be that um, wise. Being that I'm pregnant, I'm, I don't know. I, I don't know. You could probably be too careful, can't you? But um, yeah, so I just chilled on the beach, reading my book and stuff, um, and then we decided to leave those two there because they were obviously doing the surfing and stuff but it was a bit too cold to just be sat on the beach so we went to Bude and just walked around the town there while well, he had a pasty and a sausage roll and yeah just had a little which around we like just kind of walking around little seaside towns and stuff so that was nice um, and then last night yeah, we just kind of went back to the campsite and chilled there for a bit. Um, had a barbecue for dinner and then we walked to a beach, like a little bay that's really close to our campsite. But yeah, I just was in a really bad mood. I think probably just my hormones. I just felt really sad and crappy. So yeah, I didn't pick up the camera. Um, I might have put, I might have done a couple of clips of the beach. I'm not really sure, but yeah. Um, I just didn't feel like it. But today is a new day and we have left the campsite. We've packed up the tent this morning. Um, luckily it didn't rain last night, so we didn't have another puddle situation in the tent. But um, yeah, we just had to kind of let it air out a bit and dry out when we were kind of putting it away. Um, so yeah, we left a little bit later than we wanted to, but we're on the road now and we're going to Longleat just on the way and yes yeah, so we won't get it to about half 12 and um, we can do the safari from one till four i think so yeah we've neither of us have been but we've heard lots of people say it's good i spoke to lots of you guys on instagram and you all told me to book it so yeah that's what we're doing and then we're staying at a hotel really close to there tonight i think we 
I'm going to like a pub or something for dinner. Um, and then tomorrow, I'm. Oh, He's a really good driver, but I'm just a bit of a nervous passenger. <laughs> I'm getting a nice little slow cute bit. <laughs> so we've just arrived at Longley. It is one o'clock. We stopped and had McDonald's and went for a uh, wee. At the, oh, rumble at the um, services. So we end up being about half an hour later here than we were going to be, but it's good that we had lunch because it might be really expensive here and also we don't know if they're doing food right now or whatever so yeah i'm really excited i think our safari time is any time from now so we've not been before i'm hoping it's really obvious what we need to do um but we're just driving in the entrance lane right now so really excited rumbles Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> I should put my reverse lights on. Why? I don't want to do it because I'm done. Oh, yeah. No one told me about that. I might walk instead. Buckle up, windle up, go slow. Window, window. Walk instead. No. No. Do not get out of your car. Where you going? Where are you watching me? You're going a bit fast. Why don't you want to look at me? <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. Oh my god, loads. Oh, it's Maybe these are the bongos. <laughs> He's not out the road yet. Slap his bum. Oh my god. What's he got straight away? The plastic oh, bit. Oh, you can drive, you can drive. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Are you doing a link? Oh my god. <laughs> You're not allowed. Hello. Richard is bum. Oh. Hun, 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 out of the road, but it's not working really. Oh, it's quite scary though, isn't it? Yeah, because I could just go mad. Yeah. I can't. Oh gosh, yeah. Keep going, hun, because they probably don't want you to stay there. We've just got out of the car, we finished the safari. Um, it was really good. The best bit was the monkeys, but also was the most terrifying bit. Um, is that a wedding? That lady looks very dressed up. What does that matter? 
but yeah we just had a quick look at the damage the monkeys did they took both two like trims from the top of the car we think they're kind of just there for show but i guess we'll find out if we get a leak or something at some point <laughs> but you're not too mad are you babe no it was worth it it was funny when the monkey did a poo on our car i think i put i filmed that on my stories actually so i'll make sure i put that in you would have seen it by now but yeah so just walking in to see what else Hubby, love him. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come Oh my gosh! They just spend their whole time getting stressed. Yeah, someone do a loud noise or something. Oh, they're stinky, aren't they? Very territorial and they are incredibly powerful animals. Now despite their size, whether they say can be massive 13 foot one and a half ton in weight, they are incredibly quick and they are very good at fighting. So the first that makes it way over to you and you are pregnant all over again. Now for us there is 18 years of stay with us, but put that theory to the absolute test. So first 15 years, the father's 26 pups. And is an absolute weapon. Yeah. And, 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 I was going to say, absolutely and, 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 amazing view of our gorillas, the best that we've had all day long, as far as I'm concerned, the best that we've had, is female. These boys are actually very, very docile. <laughs> done the jungle cruise and it was really good and now we're just in the little secret garden which is so beautiful it's kind of crazy, eh? yeah oh, it's weird oh someone made a big wish i think they want to see someone go in for it it's quite deep huh? <laughs> this is so pretty mm. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get to see as much as we wanted to of it here. I think it's a lot bigger than we probably thought. Normally you can't spend a whole day at these places really, but I think you probably can. <laughs> um, but the jungle cruise is really good. Um, yeah, we've still got about an hour, 40 minutes <laughs> to have a little moment around and see some more animals, hopefully. This is amazing. So cool. Hello, happy Tuesday. Um, I, oh, shh. That was close, I nearly lost my lens cap. Um, I've not vlogged much, I'm wearing the same dress as I was wearing yesterday because I'm kind of running out of clothes, um, really. Like, we ended up staying an extra two days, obviously, as to what we were gonna, um, or an extra day, but two days outfits, if you know what I mean. Um, and yeah, last night we went to a pub for dinner, we went to a place called the George Inn in Long. 
Ridge Deverill, I think it's called, something like that. Um, it was actually recommended by one of um, my followers on Instagram and it was like a beautiful place but we were really disappointed um, with the staff, they were a bit rude but anyway yeah we didn't really end up filming too much yesterday, we got to the travel lodge and quickly got like ready again, had a bit of a chill and um, went out for dinner, then we just got back and watched a little bit of the good place that we downloaded on Ollie's tab but I fell asleep pretty quickly I think. Um, so yeah we didn't end up doing lots and lots that I was like really worth filming like we just wanted to have a nice dinner just us two um but today we are up and out it's 20 to 10 so a little bit later today but i wanted a bit of a lay-in <laughs> um and i think ollie wants us to go to a place called i don't know something about white horse there's a big white horse on a hill we've just got to the westbury white horse ollie's choice for the day and can you see it? Is More that, than one choice. Is it behind us? I don't know. Is that just the sign? It's over there. So it's probably not behind us. I can't see because I've got sunnies on and it's really bright. So I can't see the screen. But it's so nice. Um, you want a little walk around, aren't we, babe? You got anything to say? A nice holiday? Lovely holiday. <laughs> Ollie's still Thanks well into the vlogging, as you can tell. But look at this view. So that's the horse. Apparently, what did it say? There used to be like 13 of them. But now, oh, I've got hiccups. Yeah, did I didn't read it all. But now there's only six because some have been covered over with grass and stuff and I guess they don't know where they are, I don't know. You can just see for miles. Miles and miles. This one looks a mess, doesn't he? Bye. <laughs> I need to stand on it and kiss. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> what are you filming? I know it's me because of the steady <laughs> camera work. I know, there's one over there. You reckon mine's too shaky? Oh, you carry on then, Mr. Steady Camera Work. <laughs> we just walk through a field. Oh, it smells like weed. We just walk through a field of sheep and they're all looking their marbles at us. We just got to Laycock and just parked up and walking it now. We were going to park at National Trust, but it's £4.50 and all these types. We don't want to be there all day. And we don't want to be there all day. There was no option for just like an hour. But we found just some street parking that had no lines or whatever. So yeah, we're just walking in now whilst Ollie was looking at the National Trust parking. Um, we were, I was looking up like what filming locations we used here for Harry Potter. So I can keep an eye out for that. just seen this we haven't got the right change on us but we're gonna come back because i said i wanted to go to a farmer shop or something so that's perfect but yeah loads of places are over there they're selling homemade dog biscuits like someone selling lavender it's really cute yeah, it's really shot. lovely little shot hut <laughs> yeah it's really cute and like quaint here um jewelry shop <laughs> just come into this little tea room in laycock and we ordered our food. I'm having ham and eggs and chips and peas. Ollie's having a plowman. Um, yeah, it's really like we're the only people in here. It's really quiet. But it's nice to see different places and to see how like people live in like, different areas, if you know what I mean. It's so quaint here. Um, and this tea room is proper like oldie woldy, you know, like everything's thrown together and I don't know. It's just, it's falling like, apart. <laughs> falling apart, that's what they said. I was being polite. Um, but it's very like mismatch. For our lunch, Ollie went for Plowman. Looks good actually. Wiltshire ham, because we're in Wiltshire. <laughs> I can't wait to eat this, I'm so hungry. Bye! <laughs> Turkey. Yeah. <laughs> Just walked past one of the houses that was using Harry Potter. What did you think? Because 
poorest Slughorn's house from what I've just seen online but um, I had to watch the movie and remind myself <laughs> of that setting. Oh, so I'm at home now, we've just been doing the sorting out, you know, like all the rubbish jobs. Oh, bloody hell, shaky. Um, we've just been doing all the sorting out, you know, like unpacking, getting the first wash on. Um, yeah, we put all the camping stuff back in the loft, put the dishwasher on, um, had a quick clean of the kitchen, Ollie hoovered the house, watered the plants, um, just all the usual getting back from being away stuff changed the bed and everything like that, dusted the, yeah, just had a good clean and a good sort out. And now I get to do what I've been looking forward to doing all, I was going to say all day, but I'd say all week because I have missed the bath whilst I've been away. Um, so I'm just running a bath. Um, I've put in a bit of this guy, which is a bubble bar I got from Lush, um, in the Boxing Day sale. Um, I stock up from Lush on the Boxing Day sale and then it just lasts me for months and months and months. And then I also put some of this stuff in, I don't know if you can see, but it's called Pixie Dust Snow Queen Scented. It was a gift from my lovely friend Naomi, um, she sent me a box from a company called Tales of Toria, I think, um, and that's, she sent me um, some of that pixie dust and also a bath bomb and it came with like a tea bag and it was really cute. Um, yeah, it's my first time using it. I've just opened it and it smells insane. It smells exactly like Snow Fairy from Lush, so yeah, it's really, really good. Um, but I'm just about to have a bath with it, take my makeup off, do a face mask, I think. I've got my Kindle, cup of tea. Ollie just brought me a cup of tea and a juice, and I've got a little pot of snacks, <laughs> which is basically a couple of digestives and a bit of fudge <laughs> that we got from Cornwall. So yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here because I just can't wait to just chill and just wash like camping out of my hair. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've had the best time and I hope you've enjoyed watching along. I'm not sure really how much I filmed, if it's gonna be any good or any of that stuff. So if you have been watching and you've got to the end, then thank you very much. If you have enjoyed, watching my vlogs please do give them a thumbs up and leave a comment below if you have been to any of the places we went to or if you are a convert to camping maybe after watching my vlog i know we definitely are thank you so much for watching make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more kind of travel lifestyle disney all of that stuff pregnancy stuff um all of those kind of videos um i'll try and upload as often as i can so yeah, I'm going to sign up here, but thank you so much for watching and I will see you very, very soon. Bye! We cross over borders to get where we are And it's all for you, it's all for you